Hi gardening friends. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Happy 4th of July weekend. Hope everyone is having a great weekend. It has been such a nice day. Um, actually done a little bit of uh, antique shopping and peddler's mall shopping and uh, even made it to Lowe's today. So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. Um, and this is going to be like a small plant haul video. I'm going to be adding more of the butterfly bushes. This here is a dwarf variety. I got two of the dark purple and then this one here is the white one. I'm not 100% sure. Hold up. By the way, you guys don't get to see her much, but this is Miss Raven. Everybody say hi to Raven. All right. So anyway, um, I picked up three of these. Um, two are, uh, I think I'm going to plant them over there again. I will move stuff around a hundred times until I <laughs> finally decide on exactly where I want to put it. So I'm thinking about the white one here. And I may end up go going and getting more so I could kind of do like a drift of those, like a white drift through here. Um, definitely next year or this fall, I'm really going to chop these roses way back because they've just gotten really big. This is their fourth season here and, you know, what is the saying? The first year they sleep, the next year they creep, and the next year they leap. So they have definitely got massive this year. Um, if you look back on our early, my earliest videos uh, and my Facebook page, uh, Tribes Gardens, uh, you can see pictures of when all this first went in and how far it has come. A lot of people are grilling out. It smells so good. <laughs> So, uh, also at Lowe's, I got more mulch, so the mulch up here will finally get finished. And then this area here will get cleaned up and redefined the circle garden. And then that's, that'll also get mulched too. So, just want to show you real quick. See if I can get this in true color there a little bit. The camera's definitely not picking up how blue the Russian sage is, but this is doing exactly what I want it to do, except for this little this little area right here. I had to this is a transplanted one from the another garden. But anyway, that's why this side, and for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's more shaded on this side. But anyway, I've got more color on that side of the circle than this side. And I'm kind of debating. I hate to do it, but I don't know if I'm ready to take the crab apple down. I know you guys might have saw my earlier videos this spring where there's the stump right there. We took a huge um, pear tree down or a Bradford pear. And now that has opened up that, and anyway, I'm not too crazy about Bradford pears. But anyway, this definitely either needs a trim to keep it more, you know, neat and tidy. Or I might go ahead and get it out of here because every year it's, it's not that spectacular. It's supposed to be covered and I've seen some that are absolutely covered in blooms in the spring but this one eh. but that would definitely open up the view of this side of the landscape and then it won't cast as much shade over here on this side but anyway squirrel not trying to go down too many rabbit trails on this video um, However, 
Isn't that nice? The per Peruvian Zinnia from Baker's Creek. Paired with the Russian Sage, and I've got that in clumps around the Russian Sage and Mexican Sunflower in the middle, which will also be that bright neon orange. Just real quick, and I promise I'll stop <laughs> all the rabbit trails. But uh, check out, we got a bud on our Bishop of Oxford Dahlia. So that's exciting. <clears throat> Alright, so back to the plant haul. Um, I picked up four more Russian Sage. Remember, I've been saying I want to do a drift of the Russian Sage. Through like this middle area here as a backdrop ish to the uh, Bishop of Oxford Dahlias. So I got four of them and I think I might go ahead and pick up two more just to kind of put maybe one here and one there. Going back to the dwarf butterfly bushes these are the two purple ones I picked up. I kind of had to watch had to watch my spending otherwise I would have picked up two more but I do plan to do that and mirror this on the other side um, of the landscape there in front of the uh, spireas that chartreuse I think will look good with this dark purple and remember these are the dwarf butterfly bushes so these aren't going to get huge these will stay uh two foot two and a half foot i'm sure that's really loud crunching on the mulch there I don't know, I might even pick up three more. I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking three in this area there. And I also seen at Lowe's today too, um, do you see the blue spruce back there, the weeping one? Well, there's like a tall Charlie Brown version of that that I thought about putting maybe here to kind of anchor this corner of the landscape here I don't know it may be overkill but it is getting there the um, oh marigold Sophia they are coming up nicely shouldn't be long till we see some blooms again I'm gonna try to keep this short and not go on so many rabbit trails but I wanted to show you this that I got at Myers. Myers has really good stuff, by the way. So if you've never checked out Myers Garden Center, give them a, a shot because they really have some nice uh, varieties of stuff that Lowe's and Home Depot don't have. But anyway, this is a dark purple butterfly bush, obviously. this one let's see this is the tag I don't know if it's got a exact name uh, groovy groovy grape so that's what this variety is and this one will get tall which is exactly what I want it to do I'm trying to add some larger foundation plants in this um, under construction, newly developed area I've created here. You guys know how bad this looked before. It was nothing but a wall of trees and privet hedge and... Ugh, it was awful. But anyway, all by myself, <laughs> by hand, um, and with some help from my grandpa, he cut down the some of the bigger trees 
But uh, anyway, we got it all, almost all of it cleaned out of here. Four full-size dumpsters later. I still need to get somebody out here to cut these um, other stumps at least closer to the ground. Anyway. So that's that, and it will be continued all through here. Hopefully I'm not going too fast and making y'all sick. But it'll be continued all through there to the where it meets the fence. Um, we are... <laughs> so we had another limb. Not the one that f fell and hit the fence and messed up the fence, but we had another huge limb just fall out uh, a couple days ago. And uh, it crushed some flowers, but it did not hit the house. But it was like a foot away from the house. It actually shook the ground. <laughs> Our back bedroom is there, and we heard it, and you could almost feel it shake the ground. So, anyway. This guy is coming out this month. Um, I'd say a couple weeks. We've sent in the paperwork and all that, but we're... It's kind of one of them things where you have to wait and see when they're ready to do it but it is it should be down this month the whole entire tree is pretty much dead and it's just going to cause more damage to not do anything about it if we can make it through a couple weeks without this huge branch there falling now that one will if it hits the house it will it will do some damage but anyway trying to keep this short Hope, uh, hope all of you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Take it easy. I um, just want to thank you to all the, the people that um, put their lives at risk and on the line for us every day for our freedoms. Many take advantage of it or... But anyway, let's not forget the people that sacrifice so much for our freedoms today as we celebrate 4th of July weekend. I'm going to end this video up here, though. Because <laughs> I did change my mind and decided to add a pop of yellow here with the uh, Super Tunia Bordeaux. This one is actually Vigro. Vigro. Um, it just says Petunia. It doesn't say the variety. So anyway, I wanted to add a little pop of color there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked this gardening content, please smash that like button and smash the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it all right guys have a great weekend